Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's Spookster Whoopster here with another fun video. I'm hoping you guys are just having a great day. Thank you so much for clicking the video. Mwah. Love you guys. You guys are literally the best. Don't forget to slap a like on this boy and drop a sub. So let's get into it. Guys, this might surprise you, but I think I'm in love. Yes, truly in love. I'm kind of crushing on bad business. Yes, that bad business, the hit Roblox game people have been playing for years. When I was first introduced to bad business, I just wasn't really Ugh. feeling it. The movement felt clunky, it felt laggy, and it just didn't really feel like a very well-made game. But about a week or two or so, a fan came into my live stream and told me like, hey, you should probably play bad business again. Give it another chance. And I was like, okay, okay, fine. Let's try this game out again. He was a pretty avid bad business player, so he kind of gave me some settings I should copy to help make the game feel a lot better. So I copied his settings and oh my God. I don't know why, the default settings of the game just don't work for me. But with his settings and his crosshairs, his FOV, all the little things you can mess around and change, the game felt like a whole different experience. And from that very moment, I have been completely consumed about the game. I cannot stop playing it. The movement feels so smooth and crisp. It's not like most Roblox games. Like the movement in like Phantom Forces, it's very clunky, it's very scuffed. It just doesn't look good and it doesn't feel good in my opinion. But something towards like bad business, you can slide, you can do this, you can do that. And the motion just feels, it just feels right. I'm probably gonna be comparing this game a lot to Phantom Forces and Arsenal throughout the video. Those are like my go-to FPSs for Roblox. So we're, we're gonna be comparing features to them. The movement in Arsenal is smooth, but it's very bare bones. Bad business, on the other hand, feels like a more of a modern day shooter should feel like. And one of the greatest features about bad business is the custom avatars. They do it in an amazing way, putting custom avatars that feel and look like they belong in Roblox, but they just look outstanding. They have a lot of character towards them. And there's a lot of variety with different cosmetics you can add to the custom avatars. And they just look really good with the movement system they implemented with it. So the movement system and the custom avatars go hand to hand to making a very lively experience, a lot more immersion experience. Them doing custom avatars was such a bold and creative decision, it's definitely paid off for them. It's so eye-catching and iconic. When you see their avatar, you know it's from bad business. And capturing that magic, it's really hard, but they did an amazing job. So let's talk about the most important feature about any FPS, the gunplay, the pew pew machines. The guns in bad business feel tight and clean. I feel like my bullets go where they should be going and there's a lot less RNG into the equation. I struggle quite a bit with the automatic weapons, but I do super, super well with the shotguns and a lot of the bolt action weapons. I, that's usually how I am with most games, but I really feel like the bolt actions and the semi-auto weapons work really well in this game. And any game I can go around just like sliding, tapping heads with snipers or like pistols, I love it, I eat that up i can do that literally all day long i'm literally an addict when it comes to getting headshots with single shot kills that's like mwah, mwah. let me get my phase clan application ready boys anyone who plays roblox i'm pretty sure we can all agree that we just hate the grind most devs kind of get a little uh little evil with it and make the grind system chronically hard to force microtransactions to speed up the process. But I feel like bad business is it fairly well. Personally, I thought we start off with fairly decent weapons and unlike Phantom Forces where it feels like it takes years and years and years to get anywhere in the fucking game. But in bad business, I kind of just picked up and I just seem to be unlocking things fairly decent. I don't know if I'm somehow just playing a lot and I'm not even realizing, but I feel like the, the progression system and the grind system isn't that bad and isn't that toxic. I think they did a pretty good job on that. They also have a few other fun things added to the mixture. They have like daily missions where you can complete like, I don't know, like get 20 knives, get 20 headshots, win three matches of King of the Hill, something simple like that. And after you're done a mission, you're rewarded with like currency where you can use that currency to buy either weapons you haven't unlocked yet 
or you can buy cosmetics without paying any like robux which i think is very awesome for a dev team to provide a lot of devs like locking cosmetics and all that stuff behind a paywall but giving them an option to grind towards that it's it's really nice to see I, I like that a lot and kudos to the bad business dev team good job guys i like that really good stuff after like three days of playing i was actually able to buy this very own uh kawaii skin i think it's really nice and it helps me stand up from the crowd so the very last reason why I absolutely love bad business is the premium bonuses. So many games on the Roblox platform don't use this feature and I cannot comprehend why. So if you don't know, if you own Roblox Premium, some games provide you with in-game bonuses. And one of those games is Bad Business. I'm pretty sure the premium bonus is that you get 25% off of everything in the store. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. One of the premium bonuses, I'm going to be showing it on the screen right now. So whatever that is, that's the premium bonus. The little cherry on top is that you get a cute little premium uh, keychain, which is very moi very cutesy i love it i don't use it that often but when i do i do be a little dripping though i do be a little dripping so there we have it guys those are the reasons why i fell completely in love with bad business please comment down below on what your personal thoughts on bad business are i would love to hear them i want to see what you guys think about the game anyway guys i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe like and i will see you guys in the next video love you guys Mwah.